This is Walter Grind Guide in our newsroom in there has been an attempt, as perhaps you know now, on the life of President Kennedy. He was wounded in an automobile driving from Dallas Airport into downtown Dallas, along with Governor Connolly of Texas. They've been taken to Parkland Hospital there, where their condition is as yet unknown. We have not been told their condition at Dallas. In the downtown hotel room, a group had been gathered to hear President Kennedy when he was waiting his arrival. Let's switch down there now, where Eddie Barker of KRLD is on the air. As you can imagine, there are many stories that are coming in now as to the actual condition of the president. One is that he is dead. This cannot be confirmed. Another is that uh, Governor Connolly is in the operating room. This we have not confirmed. The president was whisked from the scene of the attempted assassination or assassination, depending upon his condition, of course, at this hour. Okay, my name is Maggie Gregory. And at the time of the assassination, I lived in Windsor, Connecticut, a suburb of Hartford. I was married and had two children. And that day, my son was at kindergarten, afternoon session, and my daughter was napping. And I had a few minutes, I thought, to watch my favorite soap um, as the world turns. So I went down to the family room and turned it on. And it didn't seem like any time when Walter Conkright um, st stopped. I feel hard and inspired to tell this. It really is hard. That's okay. No problem. And he said that the president had been shot. And it really didn't, really didn't, uh, I don't know, I, I just kind of watched the television. It didn't seem any time, I don't know whether there was time or I lost time or what, and then he said that he had passed away. And it was very, very difficult. Then the, my phone started ringing, and it was my neighbor next door, and she was crying and carrying on and talking about what happened, what she was watching on TV. And I finally got off the phone with her, and then my husband called, and he, he was working for Pratt Whitney at the time, and said that there was a rumor going around the office that Kennedy had been shot. And I said, yes, and he's dead. And it was just that whole weekend was a bad weekend for everyone, I think. I don't know anything, I mean, everybody watched it. It was just, everybody was just glued to the television from the time of his assassination and then um, Oswald, his being shot, and then this, the, the actual uh, burial, and then everybody, you know, going to the uh, rotunda. It was just very hard, very hard to watch. And the kids, you felt sorry for the children. They were young, without a father. It was very hard, very hard. And those of us that lived in Connecticut at that time were all Kennedy people. I mean, everybody loved Kennedy. And our former governor, Abe Ribicoff, was was in his cabinet, so there was a lot of, you felt like you were a part of something. He was a Catholic, first Catholic, he was Irish, we were all Irish. Um, so it was, you know, you really felt, geez, one of us, you know, is finally a president. And then this had to happen after only three years in office. It was very, very hard. That's it.